My parents definitely stressed college and education in our household, um, which, which is, I would not say everybody does because my mom was that way. She made sure when she came home at 12 o'clock at night from her second job, we had her homework done. And if it wasn't, you were getting up in the middle of the night and doing your work. I think the breakthrough for me was entering my first Pan-African Studies course, honestly, and getting the support from my faculty and my colleagues and my peers who saw something in me that I honestly still to this day don't recognize or don't, you know, I can't pinpoint and say I have this ability and that's what makes me, you know, exceptional. But for some reason, people feel that I have that ability and they have dedicated their time and energy, even their finances, into supporting me and my goals. So when I started taking PAS courses, I realized that if I wanted to talk about these issues in the black community, in the American Indian community, well, I needed to know what those issues were and I needed to know them in depth. I needed to be able to critique them. I needed to know the historical legacy of these issues, the political legacy of these issues, economic issues that were going on and, and, and you know, what was creating these plights in these you know, communities of color and how, what are the solutions? That's one thing I got from the Pan-African Studies Department was how to be a problem solver. I am definitely interested in becoming an international human rights attorney and working with indigenous groups. One thing that's been important for me and that's been um, motivating for me in college is coming from an indigenous background. My family is First Nation, they are Lakota descent. And so being connected with that community and seeing all the issues and things that need to be done in, in that small um, impoverished community is motivating me to go out there and become educated and equip myself with the tools so I can come back and make a better life for my family and my community. You're, if you're a first generation college student, you didn't get here by yourself. And that's something you have to remember. And you have to keep in your mind that you have to give back and do the same for the next generation that are following in your footsteps.